All right, so I'm doing my uh, 50 hour inspection here. Yeah, one thing I noticed is these connections for the batteries, they tend to get corroded pretty quick. So I would say every 10 hours, I had to do four on this side. That one, that one, one in the back. Three on this side, or no, that one too. Also notice uh, on occasion, uh, the batteries will be, you know, maybe one cell low or something like that. But then I had one that was, uh, took a cap off and all three cells were low, all the way down to the top of the uh, uh, cells on the inside. So three in a row on one battery, so that makes me wonder. At any rate, uh, I'm using some uh, Bow Shield T9. Spray that on everything. Cleaned them up. You get a lot of trash up underneath because of the holes down there. So a lot of stuff just tends to get up on top of these batteries. Put some, uh, got some baking soda out. Poured some baking soda all over the connections that were bad. Other than that, my wife really loves it, and we're getting a lot of use out of it. I'm going up and down the hills here. I've got a big hill in my backyard, so. It's still uh, hanging in there. I, uh, let me just close this. I made some poles here. This one I just, uh, out of plastic, but that way it'll fall down in the hole and stop. And then when I'm picking up trash, I got two of them, one over there. So I move them over here to the rear position and then that holds all the trash up here to the front. All the tree limbs or whatever I'm piling in here. I usually keep me a little broom on here to clean out uh, the bed once I dump all the stuff out. And then I keep another little stick. But um, as you can see, if you got a if it's too small, it'll just go right through the hole. So that's what I did with that one. I put some uh, wire ties on it to keep it. But that will fit in that position there. No problem. So I just keep a little bungee on it. Keep some tie downs on the back just in case I need to strap things down. I kind of carry that away around with me. And it's, uh, it's holding up. I don't have any problems with it. Just to keep coming up with all these bad connections every 10 hours, I would say at least every 10 hours, I'd pull the seat out and check, make sure your connections are good. Now the connections on the controller there, they don't seem to be a problem. I haven't seen any issue there. But the batteries, especially this one in the back here, on the driver's side, that one there. That one definitely gets corroded. So, I just pull them off, clean them up with a wire brush, spray some stuff on them. Hit them with baking soda first. It helps to neutralize all the acid on top of the batteries. And then generally you got to wash it all down anyway. So, just do the baking soda first. But, uh, things holding up good. I got me an extra set of wheels, which came in handy because I've already destroyed one tire. Multiple puncture wounds. <laughs> so, I got another set off of eBay. It was cheap. So, I'm running on my... Uh, one new tire and three old ones. But uh, all in all, I've used my winch a couple times. Not much, but it was definitely uh, worth having. So I like that. Other than that, it just uh, runs along. Wish it had some lithium batteries in it, and we do have a lithium battery option available. You look on the uh, Polaris Ranger EV Club on Yahoo, and you'll see that there's a link there to the company that started making a lithium battery kit to fit in here and replace all this. But they're quite expensive. I don't think I would do it uh, unless I really uh, needed it, although it would probably give you lots of range, a lot more than you have now, which would be a nice thing. So, that's my update.